Now let's see how the Dell XPS 13-9370 games. Now this particular model here, i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM. The i5 is a quad core. Of course, it does not have discrete graphics. So this isn't really a gaming laptop, but it can actually play casual games fairly well. Now, first of all, straight off the bat, you cannot play AAA titles. You'll see in the background here, I'm playing PUBG, 720p, lowest settings, and it's still not playable. You won't even get up to 30 frames. You might get around 20, 25 frames. It's not meant for these type of games. It's meant for, you know, casual games, Minecraft, Football Manager, Ashfeld 8, and actually plays CSGO, Fortnite, and Overwatch. Maybe not Fortnite. Fortnite, it's touch and go, but certainly I had a good gaming experience with Overwatch at 720p low settings. It looked all right still, and it was very playable. With CSGO 1080p low settings, I was able to get well in excess of 60 frames per second. It didn't really get hot. It didn't overheat. It was still bursting in the high 2000s, even up to an excess of 3000 megahertz. So it's a competent little gamer for, you know, casual games. And the good thing is it doesn't get that hot. You won't feel it get that hot underneath and temperatures were well controlled and it wasn't that loud. So let's go into some live gameplay. If you don't like that sort of thing, you know, click off now. I think I deserve a like for playing Fortnite. Like I haven't recovered from that, but give me a like there and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's go into the gameplay. I am doing what no man should have to do. You slap that like button now because I and suffering the pain of playing Fortnite. Nobody should have to do this, but there's plenty of people willing to do it. Oh, jump, I'll jump with them, hello. Where am I going, where am I going, what am I doing? All right, so 720p, um, low settings. That's what we're doing here. We can see 72, 74 degrees, 2.5 gigahertz or 2,600 megahertz. We're getting 60 frames per second. Okay, so very playable. Uh, what do I do? I have no idea. These people are gonna kill me, aren't they? Oh no! Get away, run away! I'll go to a house, see if I can get some guns or something. I have no idea what I'm doing. Please forgive me. I shouldn't have to be doing this. Okay. What have I got? Oh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's very playable, I must say. It looks okay at 720 even. I don't know, it looks like a console, sort of. If you ask me, there's got to be someone in here. I'm a bit scared. All right, so let's go. It's not a gaming laptop, so that's one thing to know, but you can play your casual games. Um, Overwatch, you'll be able to play 720p, low settings, and it's very playable, actually. I enjoyed playing Overwatch on this. I'm not enjoying this. Look at that. Oh, we've got up to 80 frames per second there. Um, I'm in the squad, obviously. I'm not enjoying playing this. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm really suffering. Oh, no, he's going to kill me. Oh, put, put me out of my misery. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's playable. That's all you need to know. All right, so now we are playing CSGO. Uh, 1080p. Uh, low settings there. And very playable. Nearly 80 frames per second. Nice and smooth. Uh, it's not getting too hot, 75 degrees, it's over 3 gigahertz, look at that. It is flying. So very playable this game, no problem whatsoever. You'll be very happy playing CSGO on this. And it's really hard to play this far away actually. Oh, oh, oh damn it, my mouse, oh no, I cannot believe it. Ouch. Very playable. 
Oh, he got nailed. <laughs> Who nailed him? Oh my god, we both can't shoot. How bad is that? Hey, I'm three meters away. It's very hard. Oh, got a no scope, this dude. I've got no hope. But... Oh, hello. Very playable, all I'll say. Very playable. Very happy with how this plays Counter Strike, and you will be too. Fans aren't too loud. Oh, give me a gun. I don't want to... Oh, hello. Okay, now we're playing Overwatch. Uh, 720p low settings. Telemetry is on the top left hand corner. And as you'll see, very playable. Look, 90 frames per second. Are you joking? You probably raise the settings up a bit there. But. You probably don't want to because when you get into a bit of action, it will slow down a bit. It looks fine. It looks like a console to me. 720p isn't that bad. And even though it is low settings, this sort of game, this sort of cartoonish sort of game, it still looks okay. Look, 84 frames. This character rules because he requires no skill whatsoever. You just new tube your way to like these massive kill streaks and you don't have to do anything. You just lay down that turret, pop in some new tubes. It's actually a really good character, I like it. So it's actually very interesting, you can actually play this. I would say it's very playable, it's one of the more playable games and it's a very enjoyable game. It's much better than Fortnite if you ask me. See, you just lay down that turret, just keep on pounding, and you just clean up. I go on massive kill streaks with this dude. It's so good. And the other people must be raging so hard because it takes no skill, no skill required. But as you can see, 74 degrees, 2.5 gigahertz at the moment, or 2.3. Over 60 frames per second. There was a lot of action there and it still was hitting 60 frames per second. So that's good. Very enjoyable gameplay there. We'll just leave it on for a bit more. And as you can see, it's only using 600 megabytes video memory. And overall system memory, 6.5 gigs. So... I would recommend you get 16 gigs, even if you're not a gamer or whatever. Just if you can afford it, get the 16 gigs. It's the best way to go. And I was actually enjoying this very much, playing this. So Fortnite, bit of touch and go. It doesn't It looks terrible, Fortnite, when you put it on low setting, 720p, but... um. This one actually looks decent. Okay, new tube your way to success here. Such a great character. Oh, what are you doing? And look at that. Still in excess of 60 frames. Well in excess. Okay, we'll wrap it up here. So for Football Manager, this laptop is perfect. Great for playing Football Manager. Um, I just left it on the default settings, which will be 1080p, of course. And I left it on a 3D engine, and just it's very fast, so it goes through everything really quickly. Uh, give overall talk. Let's see. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Let's just go. Boom. 1080p, no problems, let's go baby. Nice and smooth actually, pretty good. Doesn't get hot, that's the good thing about this laptop. Underneath that Space Age um, insulation, that Gore technology, doesn't matter the temperatures on the inside, the inside's 74, 
that's which is perfectly acceptable we're getting 3.4 gigahertz over 3 gigahertz look at it 3.4 amazing that it even burst that far but um you will not feel it on your lap warm so it's actually very good for these type of games like your civilization your football manager minecraft you know your casual games asphalt 8 and look you can play csgo as well as i showed before no problem 60 frames per second 1080p with the low settings but heavy duty AAA titles, just forget about it. It's not a gaming laptop, it's not what it's meant for. But look at it, it's bursting 3.4 gigahertz there. Wow, and it's only 70 something degrees. So it's got plenty of power for a laptop without, you know, discrete graphics. Come on, United, Marshall, shoot! Yes, baby, go!